she got it all, and the family felt, hey. No, what she's saying, you don't, no, you no, don't no, understand. I, I, I don't understand. What, 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 what it all is, is, is you know, no, it's relative. No, 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 no. You don't I want to know tell you where how... there is a problem. Okay. Where okay. the problem actually came from. The problem okay. actually came from the deceased. Yes. You see, you see there are some things we didn't really need to spell out. Okay. In, in, in families, in marriages, in every relationship, you know. It is not oftentimes that we get to hear that a family member comes to a widow to give her something. You know, so the best thing is for the man or the deceased to have made arrangement for this. You know, she is quite lucky. The husband said, you are my nest of king. But what, what about the money after? I mean, after the money, what comes? Now, you know, I, I think that, I have, that is the challenge. Let me explain, got it all phrase here. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, yes, there is this feeling of got it all. But the got it all didn't come immediately after the exactly the death. Okay. birth certificate you got it because uh, i'm nice. still processing yes i'm yeah. still processing now my point is there is this assumption that instantaneously you gain you something gain. Mm -hmm. as a result now after the time my husband left i couldn't care less yes. exactly. what came in mm. what didn't come in you were yeah. in fact Maybe i was being pushed with emotional uh, yeah, okay. emotional so there, yeah. but there was this already i mean there was this attitude of we are sure, including friends that come to visit, the assumption is that they will have dropped some chunk. Okay. Mm. Now, but is it the theirs? Attitude. You understand? So, but family it, members sometimes, do they even, did they even, you know, extended family, do they even consider the children? No. You understand? Because like you said, Regina, you were in shock. You were grieving, grieving, grieving your, your husband. husband. I'm sure you weren't getting up and going, going to the market. You Never. probably took time off work. Oh, so definitely. even if a little envelope of 10, 20K came in. From, even from the family members. Members. It, it wasn't out of place. And you know, friends, so. I, I, like I was saying, it had to do with the deceased, you know. Because I remember when we lost a friend, you know, uh, quite uh, young, you know, he passed on. And I think some of us who are his friends, we sat down and said, okay, what are we going to do for this woman? Mm -hmm. You know, some of us took, you know, edible gifts to her. So okay. that some of the children. Uh -huh. Some people also contributed. And our business is going on fine now. You know, in fact, I'm sorry to say, she couldn't have had it better if the husband had been alive. <laughs> She would have preferred her husband to be alive. Maybe I could answer you that. I mean, let me explain. No, I mean, I mean the business. No, no, I get that way. You know, the feeling. You know, it looks like that from from afar. Oh, she's enjoying. But the truth is, not like me. Give me Chris. Take everything. Oh, that's good. That's the feeling. True, true. But now we've been talking about the man, the man, the man. The, 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 the woman too, don't you think a woman, women should also begin to write well. Exactly. You know, if the, the husband is leaving something behind for the wife, women so should, should also, you know, be thinking of writing their own will <laughs> and taking care of their husband and the children in case anything happens. Shouldn't that be the case? Absolutely. Let me, let me tell you now, I'm no longer afraid of death. Much as I want to live long and I pray to live long, I've realized that, look, I've seen the picture. If I do not keep things right and set mm. things right, my children could be left just there. So I have made up my mind. And of course, some of the things I'm buying, I'm already writing names alongside. This is for this child, this is for this child. I'm already thinking that. I'm no longer afraid of such things like that. Mm. Do you know, and a lot of times, well done. Because it's important how Regina said, I'm already writing this, you know, because people think to write a will, you have to go, it's a lawyer, two lawyers, a witness. It can even be as you have written it and you just sign it and have somebody witness. That will still hold up in a court of law, no. just in case you haven't been able to go and, you know, get it notarized and all the big uh, stuff you have to do. Uh, I, I, I think that will be... <laughs> Maybe I should quickly say this. It would be very, very nice if women do write their own wills. Exactly. And of course, you know, um, men also benefit. You know, yeah, yeah. Men of course. Because in this, in this, in this, in this part of the world, mm. it looks like an odd thing. 
for a woman. You know, man. for a woman to say, I'm reaching my will, and hey, husband, my husband is. You know, you're going to be a great beneficiary. Well, I, I don't, well, most men don't even wish for that anyway. You yeah. know, women, even your prayer is that your husband live before you. That is how we be your prayer. You don't want your husband. Nobody prays about that. No, 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 uh, women but love know, to read But you know, things have changed right. in recent Things times. have changed? Yes. A lot okay. of women are holding their own. Yeah. A lot of women have, no, I'm not saying we, have, I, have I, property. I know. A lot yeah. of women these days, too, you, you are better amazing. earners. You are quite amazing. You are quite working. You know, better today. earners than some of their husbands. I know. In, exactly. These days. Yes, it's I know that. No, it's I know happening. That. So, so why should she be you know, waiting for... No, waiting you don't for, understand what I'm saying. That it will not be out of place okay. that she rightly asks that women also write their will and make their husband to be beneficial. I don't think... But I it doesn't husband, happen in this time. Have think you ever said about, that? Have you ever read? I I maybe, maybe you, you see why you may not have heard about it. Yeah. Maybe women have been smart enough to put that legal document in place so that nobody quarrels about anything. I, I haven't heard about it. But I'm not sure it's not happening. Yeah, yeah. It's possible. I'm not sure it's not happening. Now, because they're even signing prenups here without these days. sounding yeah. like I'm digressing, you know, when situation happens to you, you get to hear other people's experience. I, let me shock you. A friend of mine, yes, a friend of mine, a husband, <laughs> because of the position she holds in her company, he went on and began to ask the company, should so 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 hmm. person dies? what could come he was almost <laughs> planning her death imagine and so you wonder if a man begins to think like that is a problem yeah. so maybe that's why women wouldn't want it obvious it's possible but she said like she told me she said yes i've written a will but i didn't know that now that i realize is after this one I'm changing it i'm putting it only my children's name and yeah most times it's, it's, it's the children and then some people are women will, will think of the children, children, because men, on average, if the wife dies, it takes maybe a year before they move on, have other children. You know, you know so if, if a woman's going to write a will, chapter. I would think naturally she would think of her offspring first, first. of her children. You know, and you know, because men are so, um, I, I don't know, they, they, they don't, um, they, they, uh, some of them or most of them are not too emotionally deep into uh, 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 um, uh, the attachment with their, with their loved ones, with their spouses. Um, they, it takes them, like, like, like she said, just uh, maybe one well, year, yeah. maximum two years. And yet they move on. And, and we know of some men today, their wife, their wife has, they, have, they are still living, but they have found a way to take over the properties of, the, of their wives. Of their wives. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? Uh, so it is not because the women are not compassionate enough or because they don't know the right thing to do. They I say, that, you know, it is uh, Yoruba who say, <laughs> you know, I don't know how to translate that to, <laughs> to you. Maybe you can help <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 so, so it is really uh, it is a question, it, it, it's something that we all have to think about. Men, women, you know, young or old, Please go and write it with me. I have a will. I was going to ask you. I, I have, have a will. Okay. I have a will. All I now, all I need to do now is to update it. Update. Because update. you also have to yes. keep updating. I'm not saying I'm going to die now. I'm not saying you or <laughs> you, any one of us is going to die now. But we don't know but when we know. and we don't know how. Uh, thank you so much, Regina. Welcome. Thank you, Biodun. Thank you. Regina, good luck with your family. I wish you luck. Thank you very much. We are talking uh, the wheel on the Amazons today. Uh, we'll be back after the break. Welcome back to the Amazons, where today we are discussing that important document called the wheel, the one that takes care of, um, of your family, your loved ones, when uh, you depart. The one that makes sure that there's peace in your home when you depart. The one that makes sure that your wishes 
are carried out when you depart. The one that even makes sure that you are laid to rest the way you wish to be laid to rest when you're gone. That is what we are discussing today on the Amazons. And to, uh, for every will that you write, you know, of course, you, you mentioned that it doesn't even have to be a legal document. It can only be a paper. But for it to be legit, legit. for it to be a legal document, Legally you need a lawyer. Binding. And yes. we, need, we have a lawyer here on the Amazons today to come and tell us uh, those questions that we've been dying to ask uh, in, legal, in, in legal parlance, what you call, you know, who, who is a, a, is it a testator? Who is, is a testator? Who, who, how many, how many people can form uh, the trustee of a will, you know, and uh, is it a testator? Yes. Yeah. And what do you need to file, you know, your will for it to become, you know, a legal, a legal document. document? Please welcome uh, to Amazon Christian Love, who is a legal practitioner. Thank you. you guys are having a great time. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. You Even know, we're we are talking about wills. Yeah, I know. I know. Do you, have you written one? Uh, several. Several wills? Yes. You have been updating it? Uh, you know, there is will, there is codicil. What's uh, that? Codicil is after I've written my will and uh, deposited it at the high court, I changed my mind. I want to add other things to it. So it's not just writing a will. That's why uh, I have people that are 30 years old that have written their will, yeah. 45 years old that have written their will. So okay, you, you mean after writing the will, you code seal it? No, no, it's called any addition to the will, it's called code seal. Okay, so what if, if you want to remove from the will? Yes, it's also called this year. Okay. So, additional. So any alteration. Any yeah, because alteration. Aisha wants to update her, so okay. she needs that information. Okay, yeah, mm. that, 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 that's yeah. fantastic. So, um, what do you think, um, or why do you think that so many people are not willing, you know, to write this? If it's so important, it is so important for everything to be okay after you've gone. Because really, you can't do anything when you've gone. And you have the opportunity now. Why do you do a lot of people are reluctant to, um, to write their will? You know, a, a will is a testamentary document, meaning uh, it only takes effect after the death of the testator. The testator is the person that writes oh, the will. Okay. Uh, so um, the the challenge we have, especially in our society, is because number one, people think it's expensive to write a will. That's one of the oh. issues. It's not expensive. It's not you expensive. can personally write your will. Yeah. Uh, you can. The only, the reason why you might possibly need a lawyer is your will is your will is doesn't become enforced except you register it in the high courts. So if you write a will and you keep it at home, it can be altered. Someone can do something to it, but while you are alive, you write your will, you register it with the court. So the court has a copy of what you intended to, uh, to mm. do. I mean, you, you, want it, you want people to do after you are gone, and then your lawyer also have a copy. So your family cannot really alter, alter the process. So people think it's expensive, and also people are really ignorant about uh, about writing a will, and people are so scared. You know, we are so yeah. superstitious so, as right. a nation. You that's think, like okay, life. do you want to kill me? Exactly. Uh, uh, one of my one of my clients who was just forty five years old told his wife that he, he invited me to his house, and when the wife was saying, "Do you want to die? You know, why are you why are you why are you writing your will?" You know, or your family will say, I'm the one that compelled yeah, you yeah. to write, to write the exactly. will, you know. So all these superstitions and, and ignorance and because people think it's expensive. Okay, that, so uh, from what is said now, yeah. it's important that, you know, when you have written that your, you know, piece you of paper, yeah. Yeah. you put everything there, that you still need to put some legal, you know, yes, you need to, yes. To yes. To because they will seal it in the high court. They have their own Co copy. And then you have your copy. And it's safer lawyer. with your lawyer or with with someone because after someone can because you know when when you 
they, there is a red, there is a seal that they put on it, all, all around it, and so that it's for safekeeping. That's the only reason it's really with your lawyer. Mm -hmm. You can actually just put it at home, you know, so, and well. nobody can remove it mm -hmm. except it's time to read that particular way, otherwise it becomes, uh, it becomes null and void. Okay. Okay. But let's just say, You've written your will, yes, like you said, you don't necessarily need a lawyer. Yes, ma'am. You can sit down and write yes, it in yes, normal English. It yes, doesn't have to be legalese. Yes, It can be as simple as Aisha. Okay, I'll give her this flower. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Silo, yeah. uh, this ring on yes. my hand. Suppose something happens in between me finishing that and getting to the high court to seal it. Maybe, okay, today is Friday. Yes. Between Friday and Monday, something happens to me. Will that document still hand, hold up in court? Yeah, it's going to be valid, except there is contention. contention. The reason yeah, why you want to it. protect what you've written, you know, if we have an agreement now. Now, if I don't register that ag agreement, it's just between us. Yes. But once it's registered, then the government is involved, the court is involved. So it's not just between two people mm -hmm. again. So the... It's still going to be valid, but when there is contention, there contention, someone can say, okay, I've written this before, uh, this was what was written, this was what was not written, but once a, once a copy is with the high court, yeah. then that, that is what we authenticate any other copy that anybody brings, uh, brings, in. Yeah, brings okay, up. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. We're in a digital society yeah. as it yes. is right yes. now. So we have said writing, writing, writing. Are there no other uh, forms of documenting your will except um, writing? Uh, no, no, for a will to be valid, you yes. need to write it and you can't just, you have to sign it in the presence of two witnesses. Okay. And those two witnesses also ask to sign it in your presence for it to be valid. That means if I write my will and both of you are witnesses and I uh, I just gave it to you, and you didn't sign it in my presence. It's still not going to it's be valid. So it has to be in the presence of two witnesses. Written. Written and signed. They have to sign it. No, I can write it without you, but in terms of uh, wow. appending my signature to it, because they've, they've also read it, and it's yes. clear to them, the reason why you need two witnesses is if anything happens, they can testify when there is contention. Who should those witnesses be? Are they friends, members of the family? It's or your choice. Can be it's your will. Can it's be your will. Okay, so I, I want to get a clarity on this. Yes, yeah, I mean, I, I, I know how I've written a will. Yeah. Are you saying that any will that is typed, printed, signed, has two witnesses at least? It's not valid that it has to be handwritten. Explain it. It must be in biro, black and white. No, 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 no. It okay. must be. It must be. It's the signature that I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, but they they have to sign it in your presence because when there is cross examination, for example, if I'm the lawyer on the other side, I will ask uh, the witness, okay, which day was the was it signed? What was the circumstances? What, you know, um, I will try to discredit mm. that will. So you need, to, you need to be able to say, okay, it was written on the 15th of May. I was in his house. You know, we signed and both of us signed together. But yes. there are templates online for people that probably mm -hmm. still think it's hard to write. Yeah, yeah, you can, you, can, you can get the template online. You can, you can download it. Yeah. And, but this... The signature, the signature part is critical mm -hmm. okay. that you follow the due process. What about if, you know, you, one is ill. Okay. Now you, you realize that, look, I, 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 might must, not make I it. must do this. I might not make yeah, it. You know, can I get a recorder, you know, somebody come and record me and I'm talking, this one, um, this so, 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 and so, uh, this is what should happen in case, you know, ad is that admissible and as the, evidence? The, the, so what we as call this video is videoing me now <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm facing it and I'm saying this is what should happen, happen. if, you know, if I pass on. Mm -hmm. can, is that legal? Uh, can, that, can that hold? Uh, the there's what we law? call Donatus uh, Mortis Cosa, meaning it's like a dying declaration. I mean, I'm so incapacitated that I don't even have the capacity to, to uh, instruct. I, I'm just saying, okay, my house in so 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 place should be given to uh, someone. 
those circumstances, of course, some people we hear that. So uh, it's still admissible. Uh, but the witnesses that are present, they must be able to uh, rehearse the same thing that I've said in a way that is going to be believable. Okay. Otherwise, I will say that it's, it's induced. Okay. You know, that okay. that's in, is induced by maybe especially when there's polygamy or when children yeah. are fighting. So but what it, about if I say that it's, this is not induced and doing this with a clarity of <laughs> mind, it is by of my own free will, I say so all of that. Yeah, you know, so you know how many people, how many people, what you just, just said now, you know, you are not going to envisage this, this situation. So you are not going to say I'm, I'm saying this of my own free will because this, this situation, uh, the situation you describe of someone that is ill, someone, it won't, it will not envisage what will happen afterward. So it will not say I'm doing it of my own free will. Yeah, I'm doing it without compulsion. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you get what I'm trying yes. to say? Yeah. Yes. But if he said that, that further authenticates. Okay. Uh, I want to ask yes. the question. Okay. Yes, is there anything like an airtight will? One that cannot be contested. What are the things, the points that should be looked out for? Apart from, of course, the two witnesses. Uh, ju just like I said, you have to deposit it. Number one, it must be written. It must be written. It must be signed in the presence of the two witnesses. And the two witnesses must also sign in your presence. Then you need to take it to the high court to deposit it so that they have a copy. And when it's time for it to be read, they, I mean, the proper thing is you read it even in the high court. You can invite, you can invite the family to the high court so that they have the, they see the copy that was sealed in the high court and the copy that that is with the lawyer or wo with whoever you trust if you don't trust lawyers. And so the person can bring it to the high court. So they compare both. They they was like uh, like my client that I said is 45 years old. I mean, he wrote it when he was 42. He's 45 now. But it's been, it's been stored, you know, so, so okay. nobody can alter that, that process. And I also have a copy, I'm, or the law firm has a copy. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Barista Christian Law. Yes, uh, We have really been educated yes, and uh, thoughts about uh, the will uh, today. Uh, one question I forgot to ask, what's the probate? The probate is the people handling the will. It's, the, it's called the probate registry. Yeah, they are the one you actually go to when you, you know, the, sec, uh, the high court is segmented into court. The people that handles the will is called, is called probate. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Okay. Chris, uh, Barista Christian Love. And of course, my co-anchors, Omar okay. Sambua and Silo Bankoli. And of course, to the audience, thank you. But the last word is, the last word is, we know how important the will is. Please, it is not too young. You are not too young to write a will. Take care of your tomorrow. Take care of your uh, family. Take care of your loved ones, and especially your children and your spouse. You never know when death would come. A will would settle everything and make sure that you are at peace, even when you are gone, and the family also are not lacking in anything. Until we see you again next time, have a very good evening.